your current team, the Utah Jazz, do you think um, you're going to have the same coach at the beginning of next year? I what mean, do I think? don't know. I mean, I, I hope so. Uh, he's a great coach. He's really smart. He loves the game. Uh, we spend a lot of time on the video rooms. Um, and I mean, we uh, we were one three away from the game seven against Dallas. He's that close. Uh, we got uh, great players, all star players, uh, great vets, and I think they got uh, we got all the all the all the things it is to to work. Well, we've asked Quinn Snyder to come on the show. We've yet to get him to uh, call in or, or appear here. So mm-hmm. you're the closest we can get to getting some confirmation on this. Uh, Juancho Ernan Gomez. Um, so I believe that coaches should be wearing suits again. Okay. This business of them dressing like they're going to the gym. As soon as the pandemic, the bubble, they just gave up. They gave up the suits. They don't want to wear the suits anymore. A lot of them don't want to wear the suits anymore. They like the comfort level. We think though, that if push comes to shove, Quinn Snyder would be the first coach to want to put the suit back on. You think won. so? Yes. That your bed? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, look at the way he's he's not coming in the gym clothes. Like he's got like a belt that matches the shoes. His yeah. shirt is tucked in. His hair yeah, is like, he has like, yeah. he's, like he's, he's, he's swaggy. He's swaggy. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. and and I I, th- yeah. I personally like it's all these other coaches that just put a zip on, they tie their sneakers. They don't care. They just they've given up. Quite frankly, what do you think? Do you think Quinn Snyder would? What do you think? I mean, I don't want to get you any trouble with your coach. No, he's not but, any I mean, trouble. I mean, he 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 dresses nice every day. I right. mean, he you, you say he matches the shoes with. You the we play, yeah. if we play yellow, if we play uh, orange. Uh, he match, does he match your uniform? Is that what you're saying? Like he's specifically yeah, sometimes, doing it Sometimes, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's no question. No question. That's a, that's all we need to know. That's all we need. He's to literally know. sometimes dressing to match what your guy's uniform is for the I mean, night. just, yeah, I see, I see sometimes, yeah. I mean. Sometimes you get the answer to your question without getting a direct answer to the question. Bingo. I think, right? Do we get it? We got it. Kind of. Beautiful. Hey, Rich. He's, in, he's invited to the red carpet. Watch the said he, blue carpet. Said he's never acted before, right? Yeah, well, he's sitting right here. Yeah, but I'm asking you this: like, you've never been on the court, and you know, you kind of got bumped oh, by someone. Oh, and wow! It wasn't hard enough. Are you to saying knock flopping? Out of room, Are you accusing this you, man of flopping? Yeah. Like, is, is acting? Did I say the f word? I never. I'm just asking: is there been a moment where maybe you got hit? But it wasn't that hard. You're a big guy, and you decide. Let me just like go down, maybe try to get uh, a call. That's kind of acting. No, I don't like the flopping. I don't like the big. I, I never flops. said flopping, Watch. I never said the f word. Who's the biggest? You're gonna, you're gonna lay the war there, but. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you see any video of me flopping, you just show me right now. But I, I tell you, you have no flop. Okay. Biggest so, flopper in the league. I, I don't know. He's not going to go there. Kyle Lowry. This, or man? Or this or is Marcus big Smart. premiere weekend. Don't do All this right, to him. Right. Don't do this to him. We're here, we here to talking about the movie. Yeah, he's talking, he's like, where <laughs> who is the, best, who is the, who is the best flop on the movie? You can ask me that. Who's the best flopper <laughs> in the movie? Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> he flops every time. Our friend from Netflix is saying, don't use the word flop as much as you're doing, please. No. Um, this movie's going to kill it, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's, we've already got a tremendous wait. amount of buzz. And I can't wait for everyone to see what you do in it. Sandler is great. And the, the cameos are uh, highly enjoyable. And a mm-hmm. lot of people are going to really enjoy it. So uh, do you have an agent now? Do you got of a, what? Uh, <laughs> an acting agent. No, I don't have one. What? Because I told you I'm not an actor. I got a yeah. basketball agent. D- d- uh, Juancho, this, want, movie you, is, you, this movie <laughs> is going to be in theaters yeah. tonight. All weekend, all week, NBA Finals, perfect timing for it. Sandler's going to go out and do his thing, mm-hmm. which means he goes to New York. I think that's his, uh, that's his, um, his, his history of, of uh, or his um, superstition as he goes to New York I for think his opening. Kimmel last night. Uh, Kimmel. Oh, well, he's here in Los Angeles then. All right. So, anyway, you're gonna, this is going to be big. People are going to be knocking on your door. He's going to start getting residual Hustle checks. Hustle, too. Hustle, too. Yeah. Right? I will do that for sure. Residual checks coming yeah. your way. I, I get some that are 20 some odd years old, man. <laughs> but stick to the NBA. It's definitely better for your, uh, for your <laughs> wallet. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 